Our final game, and it's been a speed run here so far. Once again, the middle of the map where all the action's going down. This time it's Luminosity taking advantage. A pushback here, a hypercharge inbound as well. They're throwing the ball up. Luminosity moving forward. Patsy. I played against the three-time world champion Zeta Division at the Brawl Stars World Finals last year in one of the best matches you'll ever see. So be sure to subscribe for future competitive games like these, and let's hop into the game. All right, so hopping into the first draft here, one hot potato. And so obviously this meta was, what, like four months ago, so I won't be going in too deep on the picks and bans. Colette, Charlie, Chuck, Ems, Bull, Core, Dynamite, all really good brawlers. They clearly banned the first pick, Chuck, and unfortunately we didn't ban the Chuck, so they got exactly what they wanted here with their first pick, which kind of threw us off. But we did get Nita. We did really like Nita on this map. Nita's overall just kind of a good brawler on all the short range heist maps because you can get that bear pretty easily, you know, do a ton of damage and it's just a really good brawler on the heist maps. And then for our next pick, we didn't want to get countered by Barley because we have a Nita and Barley's really good into Nita. So we we're like, all right, we're just going to go Barley. We didn't really want to get countered by the Chuck too hard. And even though Chuck has a lot of HP and is just really good in general, it's not that good into Barley because Barley can kind of stop it from setting up very quickly. But our comp's pretty easy to run down at the moment, so they're definitely looking to go a tank, and they do end up going with BB here. And then for their next pick, they're just trying to not get countered super hard, and Lou would be a really, really good counter in their, into their comp. And yeah, Lou is just overall a really, really good brawler in this meta with the hypercharge. It charged it super, super quickly, and that also gave it really quick hypercharges. And yeah, just a good brawler, so they picked it, and now we're forced to get countered by one of their brawlers whatever we pick here we do end up going with shelly here we thought shelly was really good into chuck good into bb and it's not terrible into lou so we overall thought it was a good brawler and it has a hypercharge and hyperchargers are just overall really good so yeah hopping in we got a shelly mid barley on the left side on the chuck i'm on the bb trying to get my bear as quick as possible i'm already three hits in early so that's very good for us Cheryl is doing a lot of damage to chino we're just trying our best to not feed the chuck Chuck was a really, really new brawler at this point. It only been out for, I think, two two weeks, maybe even a little bit like three weeks, something like that, maybe a month. And it was not, we did not really know how to play against it, I'll admit. It's not our, the way we defended this, the Chuck got instantly set up and that's just terrible. No one's defending the Chuck. We do get a pretty good offense. So I have a bear already, my second bear of the game. Ch Charlie is on the safe, so he's gonna do a ton of damage. He's on heal barley so he's not doing the max amount of damage but he is doing a lot a lot of damage here and then we're gonna have the shelly on the defense so we kind of have the perfect setup at the moment which is are decent but they do get a lot a lot of damage here i'm trying to get my bear i do get it off gerald on the top side shino is defending he's not defending perfectly though they're just they, they did so much damage not really too sure how chino didn't defend them but yeah i think it's just overall we let the chug get set up so so early and that just made it really really hard to defend all right so hopping into game number two we have the same lanes meow is just in the middle this time not feeding me my bear as easily which yeah that game was actually super close in the end it was only a 25 percent difference so if we defended the chuck a little bit better we definitely win that but unfortunately looking back at it now four months later we definitely could have like look this chuck just f gets a free setup that's such a terrible play by us like whether it was Chino's fault, my fault, Charlie's fault, we all should have just said to defend the Chuck and giving him a free setup is just not good at all. Now they're just wailing on the save. They have a hypercharge Lou. The BB is on the Barley. They're going to go Chuck super with the hypercharge Lou and that's just already game over. They're doing so much damage. Lou is just targeting the Shelly. We do have a Barley on the safe, but it's just not, it's not enough. Unfortunately, we're down 25% here. Chuck is just going to keep chaining. And once you're down to a Chuck at this point, it's really, really hard to win because he's just going to keep supering your safe, supering your safe, getting a ton of damage. But we do get a kill. But at this point, it's like, what, what do we even do every time the Chuck respawns? He just charges up five seconds, gets the super, runs in a straight line on the safe again, does another like 10%, maybe even more. He gets another super here. He pops it, he gets Chino to one shot, he's about to get another super, he pops it again. And yeah, this game is just unfortunately over. Nothing really we could do at that point. Just a poor job by us letting the Chuck set, set up. All right, so next up, we're on dry season. Another map that's no longer in competitive. A lot of these maps are uh, no longer in competitive, so it's kind of cool to rewatch a lot of these games. But we have first pick Nani here. Nani was very good, still is very good. And they obviously banned Charlie, they banned the Hypercharge Lou, and they banned the Gene. We did like picking a lot of those brawlers. 
And here they whip out some very wild stuff, something I've never, ever seen in a competitive game. Like, never faced a Chuck in my life before, never faced this 8-bit Mortis comp. They, they had just some wild schemes planned up, and they never even ran this before. I just completely was oblivious to this. I good, Just great drafts by them. I can't really say anything else. We do have a decent brawler in Nani. Nani's pretty good into Mortis and 8-bit, so it's not terrible. We obviously have two options to counter them very, very hard. So we end up going with Shelly and Buster. Shelly was just a counter in Mortis and Buster. Overall, just kind of a tanky brawler. It's pretty decent in a Mortis. And Buster would be very good into whatever they try to counter our comp. Because obviously they have a last pick to counter with whatever they want. So we decided, all right, we can go Buster. We wanted to go Cordelius, but we were also worried about if we go Cordelius and then they go Buster, that would be very, very hard. Because they'd be charging free Buster supers in an 8-bit turret. It'll make it pretty hard on the Shelly, so we decided, all right, we're just going to go Buster. And even if they do end up going with Cordelius, it wouldn't be the worst, because Buster is very, very good into Cordelius. We are in, they're obviously going to get the blue star instantly. We're trying to get the lanes where we get the Buster on the Cordelius and the Mortis on the Shelly, which that's what it should have happened. It's not happening right now, but we're trying to eventually do it. I think that's what we do. And if we didn't, then just dumb plays about us. But yeah, we... Yeah, I'm switching over, trying to help Chino with this Cord. Even though he's in the realm, I know he's right on him so we get close to him and we should get him but we don't calm that out perfectly and that just leads to me getting pinched out somehow that was just poor play I, chino died and then we didn't even get to kill me out that was her just horrific by us Un unfortunately i had nothing else to say about that and i'm kind of pushing up there's a mortis on the right side so i'm trying to stay away from the mortis because i'm definitely way better into the cordelius and the mortis but then the cordelius gets on chino and that's exactly what they want now we can't really push into them, and the court's just super good into Shelly because the Shelly can't really use its super, can't use its hypercharge. And it's just kind of a useless brawler when it's in the realm, but he kind of just wastes it, so it's looking okay for us. I got a Buster Shield. We're pushing up, charging up another shield at this point. We have a Shelly super. He does miss, but now he is super low. I'm, I get to finish him off right here. But yeah, my teammates kind of run away from me here. I get the kill, but I think if they stuck with me for a little bit longer, we would be able to get away with some more stars. But it is it is what it is. We're still in a very good spot, actually. He breaks the wall, but the Mortis is on me. I think I do get the kill, or we... we yeah, we do get the kill, so that's a perfect trade. We're now only down three stars in the blue, so all we need is Naui, and we win. So it's not the worst, but we're out of, we're out of Clay Pigeons, and they have an 8-bit turret, so it's a little bit hard to push into this. I'm going to try and pop a Buster Gadget, and I die. And yeah, at that point, the game is over. So I not a, not a good play by me there. They're getting their matchups, and we're not. And we are just kind of... We're playing into them a lot of the game. So it's very, very bad for us to play into them because they're getting exactly what they want. And we are just kind of forced into their hand. And that's kind of throwing us off. But yeah, it's happening at game number two. We do have the right lanes this time. We have the buster on the cord. But they're kind of switching over. They can switch super, super easily. They got a lot of mobile brawlers. But them switching gives us a ton of position, so we're just chilling here. There's really no issue. We're getting free supers. The cord kind of realms Charles, but that doesn't really do anything. I think, yeah, he doesn't get the kill. Or, yeah, Charles hits a lot of shots. He gets him one shot, so I think he almost finishes with the kill. Or he does, yeah, he does get the kill. So Charles completely just carries us to the lead. And right there, once we get the lead, it's just much better. The game turns swiftly into our favor. Like, it's going to be very, very hard for them to win this game now that we have the lead. They have to push into us with 8-bit Mortis Cord. They have basically no range they have a slow 8-bit we have buster shields charge and we have shelly supers and he wastes that 8-bit turret chino just gets it with the gadget perfectly played by him and yeah at this point it's very tough for them to win this game i pop a buster shield i pull jero in he dies instantly to the shelly super charles kills Nawi. and at this point we're just stacking up the kills we have the lead all we got to do is just keep doing what we're doing and it's just going to be impossible for them to win this game Charles pops the Nani head, he just hits Snowy, nothing really special about that. He misses the Cord Realm, and that's basically the game ender right there. There's really nothing they can do at this point. I have gadgets, we're still charging Nani heads, I have Buster Shield. Meow has literally no Cord Supers, it's just kind of impossible for him to play for the rest of this game. He does finally get it, but at this point I can just pull him and kill him, because I counter him really hard, I get the free kill right there. Jero doesn't even get to kill me back. Chino just popping a Shelly Clay Pigeons. Gerald goes down, or I think he's, yeah, he's very, very low. We get the kill, so now all I got to do is just heal up. And as long as we don't get fully team wipe, it's all good. And I have a Buster Shield, I just pop it, I go aggro on Meow, I get the pull, I get the kill. And this game is just straight up over. Game number three, we win this, we tie up the set, we lose. 
and it's pretty much over and it's good it's gonna be really hard to come back so i try and go for a pull here i do get the pull i should have pulled a little bit earlier though that would have been much better but we do get meow but then chino kind of leaves me to die there i'm not sure what happened but unfortunately i do go down so it's kind of just a one one trade not not the best if we get away with the lead there we probably just win the set straight up right there but unfortunately we did not so that just turns the game from winnable to much harder to win there I do have a Buster Shield. I'm going for a pull. I hit Jero, it slows him, but it doesn't really do anything. They pop the Cord Realm, which Chino, I think, is trying to get away, but I got Jero on me. I get him very, very low. He's so one. Then Meow gets the kill on the right side. Now he's in our spawn. We try to get him out here, but Charles is kind of trapped, and we don't get the kill. And he kills me, gets the Realm out. And yeah, he is just, he's going absolutely crazy. Like, Meow is single handedly saving them this game. And. Uh, it's just not it's not looking good. We are in quite the bad spot here. He uses last jump, but then Gerald just runs straight at me. I pop my shield. He literally three shots me with the mortis bats. And at this point, it's looking very, very grim. We only need two kills, Meow and Gerald, but killing a cord and a and a mortis, yeah, good luck with that. Inside of an Ape turret. It's just, it's gonna be a problem. I try and go up here. I get a nice pull up here, I think. Actually, yeah, he misses the cord drum. I get a I pop my shield. I don't get the pull for some reason. I don't know why I didn't gadget there, but I'm still waiting. Meow is very, very low. I think we... Oh, he misses the kill by one shot right there. He gets another Ape turret. Meow is so low here. I don't get the peaks on him, though. And then Jero kills Charles. And at this point, the game is just sadly over. Chino gets his hypercharge. It's just too late, though. I kill Meow. And it doesn't matter what this Nani head does. He can do whatever he wants. Jero is not going to die. And that is going to be it. We are down 2-0. But yeah, we got to make a comeback on set number three. Or it's over. All right, so jumping into Ring of Fire here, we got the first pick, Pam, which is exactly what they wanted. We knew they liked to pick Rosa. We knew they liked to pick Eve. And we wanted to first pick Pam. So we're like, all right, we just banned the Colette. We had an extra ban. And STMN did this exactly like yesterday at this point. They did it the day before we played on day two. They beat Zeta on Ring of Fire by first picking Pam. We were like, all right, if we can get Pam, which they probably should have banned Pam looking back on it, but they ended up not. They opted to ban Rosa. You did ban Lou and Charlie every single time. They opted to ban Rosa instead of Pam, which led us to getting the Pam. And they went to Stu. They first went Stu Colette into STMN, but this time they had Stu and they couldn't go Colette because we banned it. So now they're going to switch it up. And they switched it up with the 8 bit. And 8 bit is pretty good into Pam. But overall, we knew that Pam beats 8 bit. Like we had picked Pam in a few scrims. We had went 8 bit into Pam. And overall, the Pam just kind of won every single time. So we're like, all right. No problem with going Pam into Ape It. Now we get to counter the Ape It with two brawlers, whatever we want. We decided to go with Tara and Mr. P. We overall just kind of really, really did well with Tara in this entire year. We picked Tara a lot in monthly files against STMN. If you guys know, we picked Tara on Kaboom Canyon. We like it on Ring of Fire. A lot of a lot of different maps at this point. And overall, it just worked really, really well. And we go with the Mr. P because Mr. P is just insane into Stu and insane into Ape It. And so we got two really, really good brawlers into Stu and Ape It. And here I really thought they would go Amber. Amber is insane into this comp. It's good into Pam. It's good into... Well, actually, no, I lied. It's not good into Pam. It's good into Tar and it's good into Mr. P. So I thought they would go Amber. Then they end up going with Penny. All right, so here we are. It's literally do or die. We lose this set. Our World Finals run is ended extremely short. Like 3-0 swept is embarrassing. Definitely don't want to get swept. We never got swept the entire year to this point. We've always lost either 3-1 or 3-2. So definitely not trying to get swept here. It's a pretty bad start though. Chino gets killed on the right side, but I get a really, really good position. They kind of just let me in the in the back spawn, and I'm just farming off this ape, and I'm completely auto aiming, not aiming a single shot. I got my porters in 30 seconds, which even though we're down 20%, I would be down 20% to get a Mr. P porter. So 100% taking that. And they waste uh, another stew turret. They get a ape it turret, but it's one shot right here. So I can literally just sorry, not one shot, it's two shots. So I two shot that. And I got my porters and we're already loaded. They're going to have a tough time dealing with my porters for the rest of the game. Charles got a really, really good Pam guys right there. Gets a turn on the left side. And at this point, I'm just kind of juking. Meow missed a ton of shots there. He wasted a barrel on a Mr. P porter. Gerald tries to kill me, but I live here. And at this point, my mortar, or sorry, my turret goes down, but then he kills me as well. So that's just pretty bad for me but honestly it didn't really work out that bad because he wastes a barrel he kills charles but then i just get a free porter right off him I, and i kill his mortar do a little bit of three tap and then i chuck my porters on the top right get a little bit of those aggro porters on jero there pop the gadget he is struggling 
Yeah, playing Stu into Mr. P is like sometimes just a torture game. He is getting bullied, and Chino is just, I don't know, he's been on the top side, just spawn trapping them for the whole game. I got another set of porters here if I want to. And at this point, I, the game's already over, so I pop a gadget, and then I chuck an extra porters to tank. Think in a few seconds, yeah, I chuck the porters, and at this point, the game is completely over. Nothing they can do. So we finally, finally make a comeback, and we win, a, we win the first game of the set. Dominant game number two. Here we are, they are playing a little bit more passive here. They're not trying to let us get free position like they did last time, which gave me a free Mr. P Porter. They're gonna do their best to not feed me that, and that's gonna definitely give them a better chance of winning the game. Chino's going aggro on the left side. He gets killed again pretty early on. Not that easy of a game for him into Penny. They're kind of just playing it really well in him, but eventually he, he will make a breakthrough and that will be the way to win the game, or I get Porters, something like that. We're just waiting for supers. And we're doing not too bad. We got a lot more zone time. Charles getting a very early Pam turret again. I do die to Penny Splash on our Tara pets, but it's it's not the worst. I The thing is, though, at this point, I have, like, one shot to my Mr. P Porter. We lose the Pam turret. I have to waste all my ammo on that mortar, but it does go down, and I get completely beamed by Naui. So we are in... We're in a horrible spot. Like, it's it's 21 to 30, but at this point, it's, like, 21 to 70. We are going to struggle to get this zone. Charles doesn't have a Pam turret. Chino's not really that close to his tar pull. I'm just shooting. I'm shooting a mortar, and then there's another mortar. It's like, bro, what am I doing here? And yeah, I, I can't even. Like, I you see all those three shots. I missed every single one of those shots. I'm still not even close to a porter. We're just getting bullied here. And there it is. It's 21 to 70, as I said. And yeah, I, just unfortunate. Chino does get the tar pull. So right there, it's 20. We're, we're finally getting zone after 70%. So... As I said, not not a very not a very good position for us. I do get a nice shot on Naui though, get the kill. I kill his Aper turret too. I think I'm finally a few shots off porters. Yeah, I hit one shot, two shots, we get the porters. And we can try to make a comeback here. It's not gonna be easy. I didn't use a gadget there. That was not a smart play. Don't know why I didn't do that. Chino unfortunately feeds another penny mortar, so that's another problem for us. I didn't Mr. P gadget there either. That was also not a good play. I don't know why I'm not using my gadgets. That kind of happens to a lot of people, especially Especially I've seen like myself, my team does a lot of that where we don't use our Mr. P gadgets, but you know, it is what it is, but it's not, it's not. We are, we are losing the game and I haven't used the Mr. P gadget. I finally use it and it's just, it's over already. It's nothing really we can do. We're down 90 to 54. They have an ape in the zone. Tara pull, unfortunately doesn't really do anything and they're just sitting in the mid and we lose the game. So that literally get my porters instantly, win the game 100-0, lose the porters, lose the game. So Got to get these porters. Let's hop into game number three. And yeah, this is literally it. If we lose this game, we are out of the world finals. So we got to lock in here. I do get a nice few shots here. I'm looking way better than the first game. Jero's giving me a lot of shots. He's not even killing me. Still getting some aggro here. Charles getting a lot of zone. He's being a fat Pam in the zone. Got 25% already. We're stacking up. He's got a Pam turret too. He got me with the aggro turret. We're just looking good. Charles is going absolutely crazy. I'm getting hits on Naui here. He is still beaming Naui. Naui is just getting owned. We are still just, we are literally owning the zone. Meow is doing absolutely nothing in the bottom left corner. I don't know what he's doing. And yeah, this is just, they're literally, they're, they can't do anything. I got the porters in the corner. We got a Tara spawn trap. We got a fresh Pam turret if we need it. We got Tara pets and they are just, there is literally nothing they can do at this point. They're still, still haven't gotten a percent in the zone in like since the first second of the game and yeah it is just it's gonna be a hundred oh right here kind of a crazy game like charles charles went absolutely crazy there he just owned a ape it as a pam and that was definitely the difference in the game as soon as you win the mid and you get all that control we got the porters we got the pam turret and yeah it's it's literally just over 99 100 to three and yeah so i'm gonna do a set number four all right so we're on last stop this was one of our favorite maps unfortunately not in the map pool so yeah, we only, we've only played one map that's currently still in the map pool, but last stop was a pretty good map. I did kind of like it, the aggro kind of lanes, the open mid, and they're going to start off with the Lou first pick. We banned Charlie as, of course, Rosa. They really, really liked Rosa. The Zeta played so, so much Rosa, and as you can see, their bans were Gale, Shelly, and Maisie, so all they wanted to do was just first pick Rosa every time. So yeah, we just banned the Rosa, nothing really to worry about there. And of course, to counter the Lou, you go the speed brawlers that are hard to hit. So we hopped on the Max, we hopped on the Sandy, and yeah, we were just we we're just trying to not get cooked by this Lou. Just trying to abuse the Lou without feeding him hypercharges, supers, and all that. And yeah, so they run up their third straight eight big pick here. They 
really like 8-bit, I guess. I, I didn't really know that up to that point, but they, I guess, just thought 8-bit was good into this. 8-bit is pretty good into Max and Sandy, but they do have a really slow comp, like 8-bit and Lou, not really too broad, too mobile of brawlers. They're really immobile, actually, and we have a, such a mobile comp with Max Sandy. And of course, you know, we worked with the Tar the first time, so we were like, all right, it's good into 8-bit, it's really good into Lou and Otis, whatever, so we're just gonna hop on the Max Sandy Tara, like a 2019 gem grab comp, basically, 2020. And yeah, we are, we're locked and loaded, let's hop in. So jumping in, we doubled the left side, which I think was the strat here. A lot of the time, doubling the left side was, okay, ignore what I was doing, don't even. This was like one of the worst sets I played. I did not play well on the Sandy here. I fully fed a loose super, got absolutely beamed. We just got cooked and somehow some way ended up with chino in their top left of the spawn and no one can kill him but yeah i mean that literally just got us a free kill on meow i don't even know what's happening i did absolutely nothing but walk up and stun somebody and that somehow has ended up with yeah chino is just spawn trapping him again it's like the same thing as ring of fire charles i don't even know where that guy is going he just like ran into a loose super but he's alive so that's all that matters and he's beaming now he's pretty low at this point i got my sandy super i'm trying to juke um just chilling, you know, not really doing too much, but the, the Lou has the hypercharge, but I'm running up. I missed my stun. I missed three straight shots, but yeah, my teammates are just kind of absolutely carrying me here. Not too good on the Sandy, but we do get a nice stun here. I get another shot on. And I think I'm one shot off my Sandy super at this point. So yeah, I get it. I think I get it there, but I'm dead. So I obviously can't place it down. We need only one more gem to win the game. It's our spawn next. Okay, I do not have Sandy Super. I lied, but I know I'm, I'm, no, I'm very close. I'm one or two shots off still. And all we need is one gem. Chino gets the pull and I sacrifice my life for the gem. He misses the mute. I still can't get my last shot to the Sandy Super, but I'm trying. I really want that shot. We got the max speed. Chino's just going to go in, try and protect us. He's going to go for the Lou. He does get a Lou Super on us and we're just surviving in the corner. I do die and I get, we get reset, but it doesn't really matter because Chino still has that Tara pull. Just sucks them and now we still have 10 gems in the corner it's all good just trying to take out that ape turret and yeah they didn't have any gems so they had like what five or six gems yeah we can't get reset now but we were still good to not get reset and we were definitely good i had the sandy super down chino is just chilling in the corner jail can't really do nothing to him i'm blocking for him we go get now for the extra gems if we wanted to and the game is over so now all we need is one game to tie up the set and get a set number five once again, we're playing our game. We got the we got the aggro comp. They don't have no Chuck, Ape, and Mortis, whatever. And we are we're doing well. I'm just doing nothing but you know classic as usual on the Sandy somehow. But Chino's making work of it. I mean, I guess I'm just a distractor. You know, sometimes someone's got to distract and the other person got to do the got to do the work. So that's kind of how it's working. Now I'm just sitting here tanking Otis shots. I'm trying to get some position on Meow, but I got shot at by three people. So yeah, that didn't really work out. We got max speed though. We got Tara pull. So now we're going to try and move over to the right side because we have the right side one. So why not just move over to the right side? So we are over here on the right side. I took over the right side for Chino, but then I ended up dying. So yeah, we're just kind of trapped. We have nothing really where to go, but Chino has his Tara pull. So that's basically our bailout. He goes for the pull on Jero and he does get it and he gets the kill. So that's just our full way to win the game. We got one kill and that's all we needed. But then Meow gets a crazy mute and I'm dead and I I don't even know. I just I played so bad. This is this was not a good set on my end. But it's it's still alright. We got we're up 7-4. You know, we got we got redemption time. Charles is close to another max, but he passes it to me. I'm waiting to run down Meow and I get to heal. I I'm pushing up. I'm trying to juke some shots here. I'm wiggling. I get a nice stun on Meow. I got him to one HP solo. I think Charles tries to go for the kill, but he doesn't get it. Or he's 40 HP and he oh he does get the kill. And yeah, at this point, I think I, you know, I'm i in the middle. I'm just kind of juking some shots. The right side's open, so I walk up to the right side. I'm just juking some loose shots here. Charles is running away. He's got a max bit to get a nice stun on Gerald. I got the Sandy Super finally. We've got two gems. I'm running down the right side. I don't see it coming. I get the Sandy stun. Now he's one shot. Gerald's got his hypercharge, but Charles is running away for his life. And at this point, they can't reset. All we got to do is just survive. I got another Sandy Super. So yeah, once I respawn, all we got to do is just go to the left side, sit in the corner. We got the Sandy Super and it's all good. Charles is running to the left. Absolutely nothing they can do. And we got a set number five coming all the way back on the Super Beach. After all that, the first two sets terrible. We came all the way back to a set number five. They once again had first pick. You know, we banned the Rosa because all they wanted to do was first pick Rosa. 
Charlie was broken, Maisie was broken, so we banned those. They're going to first pick the Cordelius. And we're going to end up going, I think, with Max Jackie, as we really wanted to pick Jackie as Rose's band, and Jackie's very, very good. It has a hyper charge. Then we were thinking of what mid to go, and we ended up going with Max because we didn't want them to get Max. And I'm not sh too sure what other good mids were at this moment in the meta. I apologize. I don't really remember the meta from four months ago. But we were kind of on the roll. We, we did see Tensai and Crazy Raccoon run the Max here. So we were like, all right, we're going to run it just like they did on last stop. So we were doing a little bit of a little bit of a Zeta action here. And we went up the Max Jackie. So they end up going with Gale Bull as their next two picks, which is just completely wild. Like I would have not have expected to go Gale Bull. That just completely just threw us off. Like, I feel like we could have maybe ran Gale instead of Max. That could have been better. Like, Gale Jackie instead of Max Jackie. That probably would have ended up better, I guess. I just never saw a Gale coming. That was kind of wild. And I guess if we do go Gale, though, they probably end up going with B, and that's also an issue. So, yeah, maybe Gale was not the pick. The Gale was just a good counter pick into the Max by them. So, great draft. And so, right after that, they go with the Bull, and we end up running for a third straight set the tara which is another very good tara game of this so yeah definitely don't regret picking tara here and we got a set five super beach for the world finals super beach we got the lanes we got jackie on bull max on gale and tara on cordelius i'm not too sure i've never really laned jackie versus bull before on super beach but i was it was pretty hard because every time i try to get close to Naui, he'd live on such low hp every single time and it just became really, really hard for me to play. So almost kind of threw me off pretty hard. But overall, my teammates are doing really well. They're winning their lane. So that got us a lot of position here, even though I died. But yeah, I'm still alive. Now he's running up with another bull super on me. I guess it was a very smart pick to pick bull in the Jackie because I didn't really know how well bull kind of played into Jackie there. It was pretty hard for me to kill him. But at this point, we do have position. We have the ball. We're just charging max speed tar super. They do have hypercharge bull, though. That is quite the issue, but it's all good at this point. We have max speed. We're waiting for a play. The bull goes in, but he gets tar pulled. He does go down. I pop the hypercharged Jackie. That was kind of a waste, though. Not really the best hypercharged Jackie, but I kind of just wanted it to go into his hypercharged bull, and it ended up kind of just neutralizing, so we both wasted our hypercharges. Got really nothing out of it. But we do got some position here. I'm running up on Meow. I get a pretty easy kill here. Nothing really you can do. We waste his realm. He's dead. So at this point, it's looking very, very good for us. We get the pull on Naui. We got the max speed. The Gale can't really knock me back because he's not on stun. I walk it up. I go for the pull plane. I get the pull on Jero. We get the goal here. So it's 1-0. And all we got to do is hold and we win this game. They do have bull super. They're out of stompers though. They're out of... He doesn't have a Gale super anymore. He used it. But we are quite low here. So we're going to have to play a lot of defense here. They're charging up Cord Realm. And our Tara is out of pets. So that's pretty bad for us. But I go up. I try to get aggro on Naui. I get him very low again. I can never kill this guy, but I get him so low every time. So he does go down eventually to my teammate Charlie. But Chino goes for a pull. It doesn't really matter there. I mean, at the end of the day, I think... Never mind, that was just... Never mind, not, no defense. Bad pull. But we still managed to hold it down for him, so it's all good. I have a hypercharge here. And out, out of the realm, I pop the hypercharge. I get a double pull. I get a kill there. We get a kill on Meow too with the tar pull. Nice pull by Chino there. We get the finish. And all we got to do is just hold for 15 seconds, and it's all good. And yeah, there's nothing really they can do. We, we pull Naui, we kill him. And now we're one game away from winning against Zeta and making it to the top four against Crazy Raccoon. All we got to do is just win one game out of two. Let's hop into it. Running pretty high here. All we need is one game. I once again died to Naui, which is just pretty unfortunate. I just, I don't understand. It, it frustrated me so hard that I could never kill him. I always, he always lived on like below a thousand HP every single time, but I just never, never killed him. Chino is in the realm against Meow. He's doing a good job fighting him off. But I think he eventually... Oh, he gets the trade, but we both do die. And now they have a hyperchargeable. They have a goal. It's just it's just not looking good for us. Bad, bad start. And I just don't really know what to do. I'm I'm in a... I'm always in a pickle with this hyperchargeable. I'm trying to hold here. I'm always scared of him. He goes on me and I'm dead instantly. It's just... I just struggled so hard against this bull. And I don't really know. I feel like I could have tried to play my matchup better. Chino goes for the tar pull. He does kind of miss, but we do get the save. So yeah, we end up end up with the save. He does kill Chino too. I just I don't even know how. Like this this bull just this this stuff they ran, man, against us is just so so wild. I don't even know how to explain it. It's it's crazy, like the things they were doing. But yeah, props to them. They are doing a crazy job with these comps. And 
We're trying to fight for our lives here. I got my hypercharge. I'm trying to go for a, a play here, but now he goes for the bull super. He gets a kill on me again. He's just at, like, he is literally KD farming me in the world finals. I don't even know how it's happening, but yeah, they, it's not looking good for us. They do have a no core jump though, so that's very good. I go for the hypercharge. I go for the slow here, but I get Gale knocked back, and that's just so tough for me to play into. But he misses the cord realm again. And we got speed on the left side. If Chino gets a gets a pull here, they are all dead, but he does not get it, unfortunately. So we're looking like just kind of dead in the water here. We're sitting here trying to get a tar pull, trying to get a max speed something, but we're getting absolutely nothing here. They have a hypercharged bull. They have the, the ball. They're just going to corner the ball. And yeah, we are just stuck here trying to get something to happen, but nothing's really happening. I'm dead. We do get the tar pull, though, so that's something. And I think he's going to go for it soon. I'm not sure when. But he also has a Cord Realm. So if he just pops it, he gets Cord Realm, which is like, yeah, there is. There is the Cord Realm. There's the Gale. He just puts, he can literally just put a tornado on the ball. And yeah, it's just over. So just the start really made the difference for both games. I think Charles maybe could have gotten the goal there. He goes for the goal, but he gets, he gets killed as he goes for the goal. We're into a double match point set number five. Again, I, we got the same lanes. The cord against the Tara. He goes down instantly. I die to the bull. Charles trying to go for the save. And I think he does. He's making good shots here, but Gerald gets the goal. We both lost our lanes at the start. Again, it's just so tough. I lost my lane every time. Chino also lost his lane a few times. We're going for the aggro. We got a max speed. We got the Jackie Super. We got the kill. And now we finally... I'm surviving the realm here. Meow can't do anything. He goes for the Tara pull. I think we should get the goal here, but he doesn't. But never mind, we are running it down. We get the kill. We get now. We and we got it. We tied it up. It's 1-1. One, one, and this is it. It's literally it's a goal and it's over. They have a hypercharged bull. I have my jacket super. I pull now in. He pops the hypercharged bull. We get him down. It's literally a 2v3. Joe's got his gale blow. I'm trying to get the ball up. I get the pass. I jackie slow, but I don't get it off. And this is it. Charles passes me the ball. I get cord realm. He goes for the goal. He shoots right and he misses. I'm in the realm. I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. It's a 3v1. She knows very close to tar pull. He goes for the tar pull. He doesn't get the ball and they walk it in and it's over. Wow, that that was painful, but thanks for watching.